Coming to the Capital Center for the Arts had actually been a very big dream for me. I have spent my career to that point being a dancer, being a dance educator, and uh, working at state arts councils. Well, the Capital Center had reached a point where it was really time to make an investment in our facility where the Chubb Theater is. And we worked for about two and a half years on planning project. We also, in that project, wanted to incorporate a second venue. We were going to create a small theater out of our kitchen so that we could have a more intimate space for smaller type programming. And I got a call from a one Stephen Dupree, who is a developer in town, and said, I think there's a better idea for you. And he told me about the Concord Theater, which had been a movie theater in this community since the 30s. And it was in very bad shape, but I knew the minute I walked in that this was a venue that we could take and transform it into a very special place. Being able to lead one of these at that point in my career was very exciting. The Bank of New Hampshire stage actually started as a bakery. It made hard tack for the Union soldiers and remained a bakery into the 1920s. It was reopened after a transformation into a movie theater from 1933, and the last movie was shown in 1994. And it stayed closed for over 20 years, and through just some vision and really hard work, this whole project was focused on trying to make sure that there was a place where people in their 20s and 30s wanted to come out and have great music. What is wonderful in the flexibility of this space means that we serve different kinds of audiences uh, for different types of events. We have small plays here. We broadcast live from New York City, the Met Opera. And then at night, the seats go pushed away and out come all of the great musical talents across New Hampshire and the region. When you work in the arts, it is so personal in, to who you are and, and how you view the world. And learning that I was going to get this award was, was very surprising and took my breath away. I was very honored, very humble, because also in the arts, you never do anything alone. It's not just you. It is really the ensemble of people and the people that you've worked with and the staff and board and all of the artists and other cultural workers of the state that I've had the joy to get to know over the years. It is work that has felt so meaningful and to be recognized is just so touching and so wonderful. I'm very grateful. I'm Nikki Clark. I'm the Executive Director of the Capital Center for the Arts in Concord.